There is no hierarchy of oppressions by Audre Lorde. I was born black and a woman. I am trying to become the strongest person I can become, to live the life I have been given, and to help affect change toward a livable future for this earth and for my children. As a black, lesbian, feminist, socialist, poet, mother of two, including one boy and member of an interracial couple, I usually find myself part of some group in which the majority defines me as deviant, difficult, inferior, or just plain wrong. From my membership in all of these groups, I have learned that oppression and the intolerance of difference come in all shapes and sizes and colors and sexualities, and that among those of us who share the goals of liberation and a workable future for our children, there can be no hierarchies of oppression. I have learned that sexism, a belief in the inherent superiority of one sex over all others and thereby its right to dominance, and heterosexism, a belief in the inherent superiority of one pattern of loving over all others and thereby its right to dominance, both arise from the same source as racism, a belief in the inherent superiority of one race over all others and thereby its right to dominance. Oh, says a voice from the black community, but being black is normal. Well, I and many black people of my age can remember grimly the days when it didn't used to be. I simply do not believe that one aspect of myself can possibly profit from the oppression of another part of my identity. I know that my people cannot possibly profit from the oppression of any other group which seeks the right to peaceful existence. Rather, we diminish ourselves by denying to others what we have shed blood to obtain for our children. And those children need to learn that they do not have to become like each other in order to work together for a future they will all share. The increasing attacks upon lesbians and gay men are only an introduction to the increasing attacks upon all black people. For wherever oppression manifests itself in this country, black people are potential victims. And it is a standard of right-wing cynicism to encourage members of oppressed groups to act against each other. And so long as we are divided because of our particular identities, we cannot join together in effective political action. Within the lesbian community, I am black, and within the black community, I am a lesbian. Any attack against black people is a lesbian and gay issue because I and thousands of other black women are part of the lesbian community. Any attack against lesbians and gays is a black issue because thousands of lesbians and gay men are black. There is no hierarchy of oppression. It is not accidental that the Family Protection Act, which is virulently anti-woman and anti-black, is also anti-gay. As a black person, I know who my enemies are. And when the Ku Klux Klan goes to court in Detroit to try and force the Board of Education to remove both the Klan beliefs hint at homosexuality, then I know I cannot afford the luxury of fighting one form of oppression only. I cannot afford to believe that freedom from intolerance is the right of only one particular group, and I cannot afford to choose between the fronts upon which I must battle these forces of discrimination wherever they appear to destroy me. And when they appear to destroy me, it will not be long before they appear to destroy you.